All right, y'all, what's up? Welcome to it, the What More Can I Say podcast, right? And what episode we on? 144? Oh, yeah, I heard you right. My ears clogged, so I'll be talking a little louder than normal. Uh, wow. Hey, Cheese, I'm one of your... <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Tom Capone, and I'm going to introduce the other members of the pod very loudly because I can't hear myself talk. First off, it is the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod. She is fluffy and fine, Kiki. What's Woo. up? Hi, friends. What's up? What's what up? happened to the whoop whoop? What's you, your thing? I was, I was saving it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. My bad. I hit you with the woo. I thought you, okay, I guess. Hi, Tone. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, because, baby, now, what's going on? You ate some cheese? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. And I, now I, you I, can't hear. No, I know I it's didn't cra- know it cheese do my, that. Yes. That is one of the dumbass things that happened to me that keeps me from eating cheese, but I could not resist cheese and cookies. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it clogged up my ears, so now I have to take Dayquil and Benadryl, and it eventually dissolves it. And if it doesn't, I have to go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor to have them dig in my ear and pull out what is clogging it. You're kidding me. Over some cheese? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you eating the cheese through your ear? Like, are you putting the cheese in your (laughs) ear? I'm like... See, that that is the insensitive uh, (laughs) friend of the pod is... Trying to be funny about my <laughs> handicap right now. Zach Boog, everybody. Yeah, Zach Boog. Woo, woo, woo. The hell woo, with you. How you going to woo woo for yourself? Because that you, is crazy. You didn't like the woo woo. You was surprised. I did the woo woo <laughs> last week, and Kiki hated the woo woo. Tone like the woo woo. So did. I'm woo wooping for me. Woo That's woo. Crazy. And I'm woo woo for Tone. Oh, wow. Okay. You don't get that woo woo. All right. I, I won't woo-woo. get no woo woo. I guess. Because you didn't like it. Now, as soon as it's gone. Yeah. She missed it. Now you miss it. Now you like it. Oh, now you kind of. Just like a woman, man. They miss it when it's gone. Mm. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> woo woo. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, it's a lot of stuff that happened um, throughout this week. Some stuff we miss. Do we go Grammys first, guys? Do we go Grammys? Talk sure, about we can talk, we about, can the talk Grammys. about it. Uh, how do you feel about it, Zach? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Did you watch? I ain't even watch it. You really? Just... I didn't watch the Grammys. I saw the clips on YouTube. Okay. That's irresponsible. It's not. It's not. I had Your job is music. I had something to do on Sundays. Okay. Mm. I and mean, that's my off day. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. But that's All still right. irresponsible. Okay. And I guess what I, I, before the show, I went on. YouTube and Instagram. Everybody recap. Everybody watches it through Instagram. Don't nobody really watch it live anyway. I did. Okay. For the first time. You didn't watch it last year live. I didn't. Exactly. But I knew Jay-Z was going to be on there. Mm, so that's why you watched yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't going to watch Okay. So that's that was right. Why you, that was your incentive. That was my incentive. Mm-hmm. You going to have Jay-Z oh, so that it, I'm going to get Tone Capone's eyes. I'm going to definitely good. check it out. Yes. But I, I from the thing, from what I saw, they said that they did not show any of the uh, rap categories. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And y'all keep supporting it if you want to. That's why I didn't watch it. Because mm-hmm. I knew they wasn't going to show black folks winning. You know. Oh. They showed every other genre except rap. So the you mean to tell me the speech that I saw Killer Mike do on Instagram really wasn't on the li- on the actual broadcast of the Grammys? Right. That's I don't crazy. remember seeing that. That's crazy to me. And I, that's why I said I can't say yes or no. I don't remember seeing Killer Mike say and, and and to be truthful, I was in and out of the Grammys, but right. I made sure I was in front of the TV. For yeah, Jay-Z's I saw Fantasia's one. performance. I thought that was nice. Mm. I saw SZA cry as she won. I thought her acceptance speech was good. SZA and I thought, better than one. And I thought Jay-Z's speech was, was amazing. He basically said, thank you and F you all at the same time. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it was. That was yeah. that was Jay Z knows how to play both sides. He's wishy washy like me. Oh man, it was super wishy washy. <laughs> but it was really it started off good. That he was like he brought up how many times he has boycotted the Grammys himself, right, right, and the reasons he's done it. And then he basically told you why he was gonna do it again because Beyonce ain't win album of the year. And then he proceeded after he won his award to drink Duce out of the award in the mm. front row and then leave. It don't get more f y'all than that. It was. Now, the Duce part, he could have put some Hennessy in there, but I get it. I understand. But, you know, other than that, shameless plug. <laughs> we can't even talk about alcohol without No. It. Okay. I just but say, that's what I thought. Duce ain't never cut a check for me. Duce ain't sent me to Paris six times. Period. Now, I, you know what I mean? Like, people are like, oh, Tone, you, and, uh, you don't even, oh, that's a white company. And then, uh, be, 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 be. like, look, bro. 
My black ass went overseas for the first time for free because of Hennessy and Moet. I've been to Champagne, France several times. I've seen the world because of Hennessy. I've been in free situations that I know goddamn well I wouldn't have paid for because I was a part of the team Hennessy. So well, I, I tell you what, put Hennessy on you, get you a uh, tattoo. Get no, get you a Hennessy tattoo. No, man. no, no. Being appreciative and being a dumbass is two different things. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to see how far you was gonna go. Go right. No, a dumbass, <laughs> like the dumbass is tattooing anything on your on your body that doesn't. I just. I, I don't agree with that. That's somebody else's last name, respectfully. Right, right, right. And I, you know, I'm going to put my own. My, no, my own name is on me twice. Mm-hmm. My kids' initials are on me. Um, but I'm not, like, doing something like Krishan did, like, tattoo a whole face on the side of your cheek. I think you sense you love him. That's the dumbest so thing I've ever seen in my get life. Get a bottle, get a fifth, get a fifth tatted on you. A fifth of Hennessy tattoo? No, I won't do that. You don't even have tattoos. You don't even actually, understand I do. I have, the relevance of, first of, all, I have of body se- art. I, first of all, I have seven. Actually, I have seven tattoos. Actually. We have the same tattoo. <laughs> Zach what? and I. <laughs> no, we don't. We it's a show. long story. Well, wait a minute. This <laughs> just got nasty. No, Hold on. How we got the same tattoo? We both went to Coolsville. Remember that <laughs> tattoo shop with the $10 tattoos? And we, you know how they had the little pictures on the wall? So we both went in there and picked the same picture because Zach got the exact same tattoo that I have, and they both look a mess. So <laughs> don't, yeah, nobody that, take. Which one you talking about? Because I have a couple tattoos You got the that one with mess. God's hands? Yeah, God's hands, but the, the I, thing about my, that was not. I got it right here. I got it right <laughs> here. That's, God's hands is terrible tattoo. It's so terrible, bro. It might look I like a young, bat though. at this I point. I got it young. I, me too. I got it young. Me too. And I got a, and on top of mine, I added some more. Me too. I got a baby. With a hairline on my a show. A baby? It's got a hairline. Can we see it or is it gonna reveal your your man your body? <laughs> we can see it. I mean it's it's it, I'm gonna get it covered. Okay, I'm I would gonna like get to it see covered. It. Something with my son. Yeah. I'm gonna get it covered, but uh, we can we can a see. A baby it. with a hairline is wow. I'm sorry, I got a little, That's nasty, um, bro. Okay, uh go to somebody else. No, right this now. is why we Cut this to somebody is else while I'm no, getting my arm out. Are we gonna show are we yeah, yeah does he have to get naked? I would like to see the baby with a hairline tattoo. Okay, I, there we I go. think that the pie. Is, would like I mean, to it, was, see it this. was a terrible idea. This is why you have. This is a PSA for anybody going to get tattoos. Do not do Look that. Look at this you baby pour. with a hairline. Let me see. Who is this? Damn, he. Who is that? That's, it's an alien. Baby, that look like Cat oh, Williams, man. Oh, George man. Jefferson. I don't even oh, why would you ever that, that get is that? That's definitely a low end tattoo, bro. <laughs> I got that in the basement. <laughs> you had to. I definitely I know that. With no light. No, I got that in the basement. Children, don't get tattoos. Just yeah. wait. How do you explain that when you get naked with your partners? Oh. They don't really see it. They don't? They don't really you see it. You ain't never like like they never like a woman it never laid in, next to you. I got, and say, I got, hey. Like my whole chest got I got tattoos on my chest and stuff. So it, it kinda all blends in real fast. They all terrible. Am I real fast? No, they not all terrible. That's the work. That's that one is, is trash. This we the all, one we all have. We get, I have terrible. This the one that I'm gonna. To. This the one I'm gonna cover. But it, I, y'all not gonna sit up here and act like I'm the only person who got regret tattoos. Oh, my tattoos are. F- I mean, excuse me, messed up. All of them. <laughs> Every last one of them. Every. I just got a tattoo about six months ago, and I the bird is fading. Like I don't. I I'm gonna <laughs> stop at this point. I'm not getting no more tattoos because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. You okay. just gotta go get you a real tattoo artist. We gotta send I you went, what's Tom, I went I, these birds was like two hundred dollars. Don't I went matter to, how much they cost. <laughs> I went to Vegas. They terrible. <laughs> I just, they t- I'm not good at it. I'm not good at the aftercare. I don't do I got a tattoo in honor of Omarion on my wrist. I got Oh, uh, is that what the whole this, this is what the <laughs> this the crown, because he had a crown over his O. So yeah, sixteen, I went to Coolsville. Yeah. And got me a little tattoo of my name with the crown over it in honor of Omarion. That is yes. So funny. And then I went and got my I tried to get my mama like a little memorial, my mom and my brother name and hands. Mm-hmm. It's giving my, it's like a cookie. It look a mess. I got I got Beyonce <laughs> lyrics on me. I can see your halo <laughs> across the top. <laughs> and the only, the only civilized tattoo I got is a little music note behind my ear. So, kids, don't do it. So, that, I, I see your no issue. You, you, have, you got the same issue I got when it comes to tattoos. Yes. It's, not the, it's not the artist. It's us. We don't have good ideas. Yes. 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 Those are terrible and then, ideas. And then, I'm listening to them. I'm like, like these are all <laughs> horrific <laughs> tattoo yes. ideas. We be in there with pressure. Yes. They be like, what you want? You be like, uh. Trying uh, to get creative. Uh, baby, with a hell out. You yes. know what I mean? like, yes. uh, It's just. I don't know why. I don't bad. know why. So. That's, that. I want to let you know is yeah. is terrible ideas and y'all need to discuss them with me before y'all get to your next tattoos. I Please. won't. I will not get another one. I'm done. You, 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 you can fix more. them up. You can fix them up. 
You can fix him up. You just got to go that. see, like, people like... Oh! Cat from Black Ink. She can tap really well. She cold. Shout out. Uh, no, I get, I'm just saying, like, I know, like, Chella, like, she did great... Chella? Tap- yeah. Chella H? No, not Chella. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, now, wait, now, Chella do everything. Chella no, got a stone. No. My she tattoo rap, artist. She said, okay. Did the tattoo, did the on my neck. When he said Chella, I was like, I know Chella. I ain't never seen Chella, Chella do tattoo. tattoo. Shout out to Chella. No. But yeah, even my mama's um, death date, no, birth date on my thing is wrong. Like, I don't, you I put the wrong, wrong year. The wrong year. Yeah, wow. it's bad. So, like, I don't, I just, I'm done. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Speaking <laughs> of being done, uh, we'll get off of the off of the Grammys. Cause don't get a tattoo unless you got a reason. No. How do we no, go from I Grammys had, to tattoos? Yeah. I, I don't no know. Idea. Just wait till you're 30. Just don't. So you can make some good decisions. No, yeah. I have a, I have a bad Gemini sign on my back. Bad. On your back. You got a tramp stamp? You got a lower back tattoo? No. <laughs> hey, what? That's be nasty. That's nasty. Wow. That's nasty. <laughs> wow. I That's told y'all I told was an exotic dancer. No, no, no. You you had wow. it, it, the man's tramp stamp was up by his shoulders. You get, you know how Nick had the Mariah stuff across uh-huh. the thing? So I was like, yo, I'm going to get a Gemini at the top of the symbol at the top, and I'm going to have, like, these, like, Flames like kind of coming off to the side, oh. kind of like so it just stretches across the whole back line, like you know across uh-huh. the top of your shoulders. It's the nastiest <laughs> thing I've ever did ever, bro. It the Gemini sign is like the size of a quarter. Yeah, and then the flames are huge. The, no, my no G. The flames are probably about that. They got and so the tattoo is probably like that much. It sits in the middle of my back. I've got to get something to cover it up. <laughs> But it's just nasty work. I got it in Hammond. Yep. And no mm-hmm. shade to people at Hammond. I'll never get a tattoo in Hammond, Indiana again. <laughs> That's where our man came from. <laughs> I told you, man. Yep. Listen, Hammond is where people go. It's a lot of, I just, <laughs> I'm not going to disrespect See? Hammond. But Hammond's not the place to choose to get a tattoo at. I just want to let everybody know. Mm-hmm. That tattoo, and it, and it cost me $100. <laughs> it's not a $100 tattoo, sir. See? Oh, man. My, I don't even know how much mine was sold. My, my tattoo might have been free in that basement. I can't believe we've been talking about tattoos. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I definitely want to say this before we get into some of the beefs that's happening. Uh, the ladies are beefing, so I want to hear what Kiki has to say about it. But I I, I definitely want to say that, and then we will definitely give her her moment with Drake. What? Okay. The Drake the Drake moment. But what what's up with the Lovers and Friends stuff? What's happening with Lovers and Friends? <laughs> well, like, everybody, <laughs> everybody... It's saying they're not a part of it. Juvie, Monica, the dream dropped out. I don't know. It's just like it don't. And Usher announced it, which made it like it was going to be a thing. And I was excited. Like, you see all these names. You're like, oh, I'm going to be there for every bit. I'm going to this probably be one of the few shows that I really have sat and watched the whole way through. Yeah. But it don't look like nothing happening, man. And I'm mad about that. I saw the Lovers and Friends lineup, and I was Ooh. reading it. I said, this is absolutely amazing. It's not a better lineup I've seen, you know. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to wear a diaper because I am not <laughs> mm-hmm. leaving. I have to see everybody. Everybody, it was just heat after heat. But then Juvenile said he didn't get paid. Monica said he didn't get paid. The Dream p- pulled out. And everybody's like, hey, man, I don't mind. The funny thing is everybody's like, I don't mind doing the show. I just ain't got the money. Yeah. I, like at this point, I'm like, yo, like it. It seems like somebody said out, like, you know what? We gonna put it, we gonna put this show together, <laughs> and we just gonna start naming people. This person, this person. They check now. One person schedule. We could make our own festival. <laughs> at, th- at, at this point, we could do what we want to do. And then my thought process is like, I saw the bigger names on this, on what was going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I immediately, when Juvie said he ain't got paid, I said, y'all can't get Juvie down his front end? Something fishy. <laughs> Come on now. Like, I, I ain't no shade to Juvie. Juvie, I know he ain't costing as much as Drake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that front end of Drake got to be crazy. You can't take care of my guy. You can't get Juvie Who right. going to get the crowd right? <laughs> he going to hit that. He going to hit you with the heart. Did you see Juvenile's <laughs> tiny concert? No, it was one of the best ones. Yeah, it was one of the best ones. And you can't get that man his front end. This concert's not happening. 
<laughs> you can't, if you can't afford Juvie's front end, it ain't happening. How y'all paying for the park? How y'all paying for the venue? Where this thing is happening at? But you can't get you can't get Juvie off. You can't get Juvie front end off. You can't have That's a whole crazy. day. You can't get that man in some bands. You you're wrong. <laughs> like you can't get Juvie ain't even asking for much. <laughs> You a hotel room for like, a couple so like, dollars. Stop playing with Juvenile. I just realized what was happening. No, I'm not it's going just, in on Juvie, but I'm just saying, bro. You what? got all of these big, big artists, and you'll be like, y'all ain't even hit me with my bread. Like, I know I ain't as expensive as these dudes. That's crazy. This, this event's not happening. It's not happening. Monica's backing out. Like, come on, bro. Now, the you dream, know. I ain't going to lie. The dream ain't sung publicly in a decade. Yes. And y'all can't lock the dream down. He want to perform. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie. Not the dream want to perform. My, my, That's does, really rude. Bro. That is really rude. He wants to perform. So and y'all can't give him his money. <laughs> now, dream ain't playing about his bread. No, not at all. I mean, why would... Mm. Why would he? He got. I mean, he got a lot of kids. Yes, but y'all are dumb for believing that this was real. What? Like y'all are actually, y'all are actually Usher for believing. It. It. And Usher's a damn lie. Where are you going to get a concert with Lauren Hill, Usher, Ludacris, Lil John, TLC, Sierra, and Nelly, and Brandy, and Monica, and Ashanti? Like, it, think about it. How are all these people logistically even going to be in the same place at one time? It's symptom. It does it's seem ne- amazing. It's, 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 this is dumb. No. This, this is like this is y'all. Y'all, if y'all fail for this, y'all are really stupid. Kiki, you might I be right. Stupid. Like, how, like you might Ashanti, be right. if you even do the math, Ashanti gonna be in labor by the time this show is supposed to happen. Oh. How her and Nelly gonna be performing this at is the like same place? Like, this is dumb. <laughs> this, this was the end game yes. of uh, concerts. You saw, you know, like an end game had every superhero show up. This guy, like, you nah. got Keith Sweat, Joe to see Escape, and Genuine. I'm- all together? I on ain't the gonna same lie stage? to you. I was I, the last what? line. This is when we knew. If you take it from the last yes. line up, total, where are they? Come they on. ready to perform. Black 702. They were just throwing stuff yeah, out. When they Two said 702, that's... God rest 702. Yeah. That's where it got a little fishy. John B. Thank John, you. John B. Where did y'all find him? John B been performing. 112. Kevin all over the country. Jay Holiday. Knock it off. Tweet. Tweet has been back in on the map. No. Tweet has not been back. No. Yes, she has. She just performed at the City Winery. See, y'all not tapped in like I am. I'm a music guy. Oh, oh, the City. Okay. I'm not are, gonna, City I'm Winery not has great artists. <laughs> Drew but Hill, my, Carrie Hilson, Luke. Who at the top? Who at the top, though? Okay. Lauren Hill. You should have knew it was Janet a Janet Jackson, Alicia Keys, Mary Janet Jane. Jackson? Lil Wayne. Y'all brought <laughs> Janet Jackson in this? <laughs> she at the top. <laughs> Why back, are y'all breaking back, it down? Backstreet, I'm, backstreet Boys. This man. The Backstreet Boys in there? They not in there. Gwen Stefani. I promise you. If y'all oh, back to God, Gwen this. Stefani's in there. Nelly Furtado. <laughs> Come on now. Damn, damn. What did I do? I What the hell? I, exactly. I'm mad that I fell for that. But if this really does happen, ooh, he, this is an amazing show. Rick Ross, it's Tyrese. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. That's a that's, lot of. That's a lot of. So did they just throw all these people up and be like, all right. Whoever go, whoever show up, whoever show up, whoever show up can make it. Like at this point, <laughs> who we we could go ahead and play in the next big jam. Who y'all want? I vote for Whitney. We call Michael gonna be there. Kanye, Kanye, uh, Prince, and it's gonna rain. Prince gonna be there. <laughs> she you key. know what I'm saying? Like you could just say whatever you want at this point. You could just say <laughs> at who's this point, doing that? Just be making concerts up. That's yeah. crazy. I didn't even think about that. Let's see, crazy. Lauren Hill, Tyrese, Rick. This is every. Popular person and black music, really. In, in the last 20 it, years. Yes. Yeah. Is Drake on there? No, nah, he's not on there. Okay, here. Chris Brown on there? No. Okay, so see, we'll see. The, the, it's possible. No. <laughs> Just because Drake. They Chris probably Brown had not. other dates already published. Gwen booked. Stefani has not. When did you see Gwen Stefani perform in a while? Now, how you done brought Gwen in this? I didn't she even see there. her on the list. She, she on there. there. Gwen Stefani. Oh, baby. See. The Backstreet Boys? No. That's tough. That is, that us, you got to fix this, bro. You got to come out, fix this, and set us bad. a new lineup up. Bro. I feel bad for the artists who like had a glint, like felt happy that they was on the list. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like oh my god, somebody booked me, and then to find out it's fake, like it ain't really gonna happen. That it's, had to be hard. Who would be on the list that was excited? I know who. Uh, Y'all just went Jay in Kwan on, ju- was excited. on Juvenile. Is Jacquees on there? there? J- is Jacquees and Trey Songz on there? It's Jacquees. <laughs> I know I'm being dead serious. One, one of them didn't somebody shoot their eye out or something? Was that Jacquees? Oh, what? No, Jay Kwan Am got I the making song. this up? Oh my yes. God. Jay Kwan living. shot himself. Somebody shot they eye out. One of them. Jay Kwan. What? Okay, let me Google it while y'all finish. 
Kiki. I ain't make that up. <laughs> Was you on some type of meds? Just... <laughs> no, I saw it on Why TikTok. You oh, God. Oh, Jaquan was the one wanted for murder, I think. Oh, you done gave this man a murder charge <laughs> and dead. <laughs> All my life. All right, I'm done. I quit. I'm living. It's a tipsy rapper Jaquan went missing and he pleads for help. So he ain't on this show. I know he was speaking happy. of uh, all of this though. What what do y'all think about? Why do you think Jacquees and Trey Songz got into it over a woman? Think it was it was over a woman? Absolutely. What else do R and B dudes have to fight about? I, I, Every R and B beef stems that's from true. a woman. That's true. R and B guys don't care nothing else about. They don't care about nothing else but their women. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. But I mean, like when you Trey Songz, that's like, to me, like. And no shade to you, Jacquees. I'm not you hating on you. You're a grown him. ass you man. Shade. You're a grown yeah, ass man. Comes. So I'm not trying to shade so people don't take this clip and be like, oh, he's trying to shade you. He a little dude, bro. He not a, <laughs> he not a, and he don't like, you know he's, what I mean? He never come off like I'm trying to be tough. That's, he's not like a tough dude. He's like, yo, I like to sing every time Jack, oh, I'm chilling. Yes. And you know, and Trey Songz, I think Trey Songz taller than me. He is. You, you cannot. Beat up the little dude, bro, over a chick. You cannot. That's why he said, that's why I think Jack Queen was like, Jack said man. it. Over, he said, over the chick. He was like, she ain't even come with me. She came with the other dude. <laughs> he, was, he was confused. Oh, he Jack was confused. Queen. He like, bro, you gonna fight me? I, I'm supposed to be your little bro. He said, you swung on your little bro? <laughs> I, felt the minute, I felt the pain in his voice. Yeah. Oh, Jack Queen. And he ripped out his dreads. Now that was bogus. And that's and what was more bogus is that he took the pictures of, that's how I know he was. The, He's hurt. hurt. He was hurt, hurt and upset. Mm-hmm. And confused. And, and confused. Because what made him post the dreads? That was, yeah. That was sad. Somebody told him to take it down. I'm glad he took that down. Yeah. Take that down. That was, that's that's weird. Speaking of things being <laughs> over a woman, um, we'll go before we get into the Drake stuff. Um, Keep teasing this Drake story. <laughs> because Kiki, Kiki, <laughs> said, Kiki. Fired off, Kiki fired off a, a tweet that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but Drake did something before this came out that I was I was uh-huh. like, bro, and I blame his boys for it. Uh-oh. This is this is all me blaming Drake's homies. Because before you do something dumb, we all got friends that be like, hey, don't do that. No, I, even though you want to get back at somebody, you want to do something, somebody going to say in your ear, that's petty, don't do that. Mm-hmm. When he's, the, the Rihanna thing, I don't sing that song anymore. Mm. That hurt my. That hurt me. That that hurt me. That that I was like, you a player, bro. You light skin. You the sampler. You the king sampler. You sample every woman out here on Instagram. It's ladies that got Drake in the inbox with two hundred followers. <laughs> Drake is a sampler, and you a player, and you got a, and you did that like your boy supposed to say, don't do that, bro. You gonna look nuts, and he did it. Mm. Am, I, am I wrong for thinking that way? I what do you think, Kiki? I, you know, I have turned over a new leaf in my life. So no Drake slander will be oh, tolerated God. around me oh, my from God. today moving forward. So I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Be very <laughs> careful when y'all mention the GOAT. Oh. Okay. Oh. Aubrey Graham, the greatest of all time. Yes. So um, y'all be <laughs> just call me OVO Kiki from this point, baby. Okay. What happened? So if Kiki? he don't want to sing Rihanna's song, he ain't got to sing Rihanna's song. Okay. He can let everybody else do it. Kiki, uh, yes. what happened with Change Your Heart? You were the one who was on this <laughs> podcast telling us, we can go back to the clip, <laughs> telling us how much you didn't like his concert, yes. how it was born, how uh-huh. it was weak. You was actually arguing with Tone about it. I was. So what is change? I was. I have had a change of heart, a drastic change of heart, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, I am OVO Kiki, um, you know, and I feel like Drake can do whatever he want to do. If he want to have dinosaur costumes on at his concert, if he want to have Virgil standing there holding that kite or whatever that he got him doing, he can do whatever he want to do from here on out. And he is the GOAT, in case there was any question in this room. So I would just like to put that out there. So are you OVO? Are you still with, what about Maybach O? Baby, are you still I get Maybach to him. O? Oh. I get to Maybach O. But you know what? That's why I love Omarion too, because see, he had some leak too before. So I know what that is. I know what's over there. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I that's, know what's over there yes, is wild. And that's why I'm going to always hold down Omarion as well. But Drake, I just learned about, you know, how blessed he is. And I would just like to uh, make sure that everybody knows no slander will be tolerated. So when you talk about him not wanting to sing Rihanna record, he can do whatever he want to do. He can do whatever he want to do. All right. Uh, yes. okay. Kiki, that's just because... Yes. That's because the man had some leak. 
Yes, and he that's, did. And mm-hmm. here, everybody, here's one of my... We just found out something about Kiki. She just revealed it. <laughs> what did she reveal? She big and nasty, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Kiki did it. Yeah. 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 Cast out the bag, baby. Know, we, know, we know our big Tim is with us. Oh, my God. She big and nasty, <laughs> baby. No, I am not big and nasty to terms definition. Okay, I mean to tones definition. But, yes, I did put it for Drake today. Baby. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all see the video though? Did y'all see the video? No. 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 Y'all didn't see it? No, no. no then y'all I'm not won't gonna understand. See it. Okay. No, I'm not gonna see I it. I think y'all should see it. No. Why? It's no. inspirational. For what? How is it? Inspirational. Yes. It's nasty yes, work. It's na- <laughs> that's nasty work. It's inspirational. Y'all need to know that God, okay, and what he can do for Drake, <laughs> he can do for others. Okay. <laughs> now, Drake is he got this how does it feel, Drake, to be God's favorite? Okay. <laughs> you rich. You talented, you cute in the face, and you got a baby leg in your pants. How does it feel to be God's favorite? Okay, this is why this man wrote God's plan because he is truly, he is truly one of God's favorites. And so I'm just saying, I think everybody needs to see this video so that they can know to address Drake accordingly. Okay, so everybody needs to see it and be inspired. Yes. It is fun. It, that is nasty work. Oh, it, is. it That is nasty is. work. And the dude, and the thing about it is, is that that's, the dude is a sampler. And you run into Drake Baby. samples all the time. Tuh. And they, and whatever he, the crazy thing about, the crazy thing about Drake is, is that it's so funny, the girls that mess with Drake, because I know several of you them. You do. I know that it's the funny thing about them is they never really say it. They be like, "Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the concert. You go into the Drake concert last minute, and you got Drake concert last minute, and you in the lounge. You right. got the great, the great. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. You, I'm in Miami, and I'm, I'm gonna go check out the Drake concert. Mm. Go to the Drake concert in <laughs> Miami." <laughs> With yeah. your girl. Can you blame him? Well, you bl- I, don't, I don't blame him. It's just funny. Like, I, that's why I say when he does stuff like the Rihanna thing. Yes. He does stuff like the Rihanna stuff. To me, I'm like, bro, you, you win it. Like, you got, you like, you got some of the wildest stable I've seen ever. He's out God's of any, favorite. I, I, like, of any... Any person is celebrity that like it's like it's impossible for me to run into that many women you sample, mm-hmm. and you to be upset about <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna, it makes me think Rihanna got sunshine. It's she something must. going on. She bro. must. Now, why you think Rihanna? Um, he weak for saying this about Rihanna. That's what we was at. Right? No, I was just saying. Oh, so we'll pick up. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me why you you have all of this sampling going on. You got women all over the country, all over the world. That you still doing petty stuff to Rihanna. It's not a see y'all see, here's the thing, man. With guys like that, and this isn't just for Drake, when guys win all the time, when you take a L and it's nothing you can do about it, it hurts more. That's right. Where your money don't matter, your fame don't matter, mm-hmm. you can't buy her, she's mm-hmm. got more money than you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It, it, it's you're you're in a situation and then and then not only that, she chose another rapper who ain't as big and successful as you in your own field. In your own lane, she got she with another dude that she feel like is flyer, that she felt like that's the one that she chose to be that's with. That's right. That hurts more. So that's why it's so much, oh, let me diss her. Uh, he talked about how the sex wasn't good on that song. I don't even do that song no more. Brother, you are at your own show. You didn't know your DJ was going to play work? Not too oh, much. He knew that. He, knew that. he did that on purpose. Hold on. You didn't know your DJ was going to play work? No, no, Kiki. Not no, too no, much. No, he, he definitely just got this that. newfound. <laughs> no, he just got this <laughs> found out. He now, definitely not did that. Not too much. Just because you D-whipped right now. You got D on your brain. <laughs> nah, it's not too much. <laughs> not no. too much on Aubrey now. No, he don't know what that DJ did. That DJ might have just threw that in there. He might not even ask It's his that. show. You do this every... You've been Kiki, doing this stop. all year. You know what song is played, so you let the song play so you can sit there and tell him that you don't play this song Yes. No more. So be petty. And that's what I'm saying. It's just hard. Sometimes guys who win all the time, it's hard for them to take an L. And that's, that's why a they don't big play... L to take. That's why they don't play... I always say those type of dudes haven't played sports 
Drake don't like play like you a, his I, basketball league. You ever seen him? Don't nobody guard him. Nobody guard him. Don't he nobody every guard him. He went every year. He went every year. Yes, I got his scoring champ, rebound <laughs> champ, <laughs> undefeated. Because don't nobody want to get kicked out of the Drake. Yeah, and you league. in his house. That's right. You in his house. That's, right. Right. that's, that's weird. I, I always said that was weird. You gotta take an L. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just, you gotta learn how to take an L. Really? I I, I believe it. Mm. And Kiki, I'm, you, I just, I, that Kiki man, that man up. is blessed. Oh my. Big <laughs> and nasty. He's to take no L's. I only want the best for Aubrey. Oh. Big and now. nasty, Kiki. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I only I, want the best. <laughs> all right, Kiki. Uh, more too. people are beefing, Uh-oh. uh, and not that type of beef. More uh. people are beefing, uh, about, was it really Ice Spice and Lotto? Why? Why? Why is this happening? Why do you think all these ladies are deciding to go at each other? Cause y'all ain't making hip hop fun, so we got to do it. What are you talking about? Yeah, the guys, y'all too buddy buddy, friendly friendly, fake and phony. So the girls are standing on business. What? The girls are controlling the charts. The girls getting number one songs and number one records, and we making hip hop fun again. And I think it's great that Ice Spice and uh, Lotto are gonna go at it because at the end of the day. Um, somebody got to tell Ice Spice the truth. So why not be Lotto? Ooh. Nah, I, what I, do you think, Zach? I'm just waiting on Ice Spice to drop some nudes so I can be as excited to defend her like uh, <laughs> Kiki was about Drake. Come on, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> no. But how I really feel about it, yeah. Kiki is the biggest spin artist there is. Which Me? If, if it wasn't for radio. She wishy-washy as hell. Well, I thought I was she, wishy-washy. What? If she didn't do radio, she would definitely be a defense attorney. Because she can take, <laughs> she can take any situation and flip it. Uh-huh. You said, "Why are the girls fighting?" And she said, "Because y'all." She blamed men and said, "Because men are boring. <laughs> because we're deciding not to kill ourselves." Yes. But then, if we were killing ourselves, she'd be like, "See, that's what I'm saying. Not y'all killing. need to have peace. What? Y'all need to have this. Why can't we all get along?" This per- just last part, she was telling us that this person was too big to respond to this person. Oh, I did she say was, that. Nah. Didn't I? And I now did it's, that. I did say that. And now it's this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is somebody who is a master. <laughs> Of flipping anything. I'm a woman and I'm allowed to change she, my mind. And she can change it, uh, uh, I mean, and be cold with yes. it too and give reasons. Yes. That's, that's but crazy But y'all don't work. think outside of women right now, let's just be honest, hip hop is boring. What's what that? are y'all doing? Killer Mike just swept the Grammy. Who? Ooh. And, y'all, Ooh. You ain't listening to that, that Killer Mike. I did listen to that Killer Mike album. You did not listen to that Killer Mike album. I did listen to that Killer Mike album. Tell me your favorite song off the Killer Mike album. Tell me your favorite song. Michael. No, don't try to say his Michael? name. No. What? Michael. Give me another one. Scientist and engineer. Are you Googling this? He looked this? it up. No, no he I looked it up. I know this. I listened to the album. I used to listen to it working out. You and six people? He's lying. No, people listen to the album. No, who said that? That man. That man ain't listen to the Killer Mike album. See, I listen to real hip hop sometimes. Boy, please. Zach. Zach. No, I'm going to tell you, Knock I like off. Killer Mike, though. I've always liked Killer and Mike. I'm not going to act like Killer I'm gonna Mike. I'm going to tell you, two of my underground artists that I like when they drop is Killer Mike and Big Crit. I listen to them, even though people don't necessarily listen to them. Those are two guys that I listen to. And I'm not. Killer I Mike their, is. A, he's I a, love their music, for real. He's a good one. But it's Killer Mike Exciting. really able to sweep. The song on there with Offset, the other yeah, thing. He it's really cold. sweep. He's. I, I think yes. Did y'all? If y'all did listen, Travis Scott. Yes. Utopia. If you did not, bruh. Is there a record on Killer Mike's album? I'm asking this question. Yes. That's bigger and better than Phoenix. It's 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 not gonna be bigger because he, Killer Mike ain't got the the support. But to it make better, it is it better than Phoenix? And, and you gotta understand. Is Killer yes, Mike? You got Killer a record Mike better it, than Phoenix? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you're talking about just rap, now if you talk add all the stuff. Of course, Travis Scott is hotter. Killer Mike is in his 40s. He's not doing yeah, it. No, I get you know what it. I'm saying? It's a different type of album. I get you know it. what I'm saying? So, but yes, if you're talking about bars, talking about something, lyricism and a cohesive body of work. Each mm. song float together, together, together. Yes. It's really good. Okay. And if you haven't listened to it, I say try it out before <laughs> you make all these assumptions and you I... give cuz let's talk about that Utopia album. Yeet is the biggest record on there. He's got two other ones on there. That, 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 that Travis Scott, that Travis Scott album is okay. It's not cohesive. I'll give it's you that. Not, it's it, it's good. I mean, it's it's a good, but it wasn't. But it's better. got big. It's not better than there. Michael. It's not better than Michael's. Okay. 
It's not. I just I just feel like uh, y'all boring. The men, it's, it's, it's boring. So the ladies got to spice it up. No, and I'm not trying to shade Killer Mike because I'm sure it's an uh, amazing body of work. But y'all know everything don't get to me. Like, I, I, I've I never been high enough to enjoy Travis Scott. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. it ain't my thing. Um, what did Killer, you say? I'm high? Yeah, I, I feel like you got to take a certain kind of drug to really appreciate so all that. So you said I'm tra- on drugs. Yes, absolutely. I think that <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a certain type of addict <laughs> to truly <laughs> and truly enjoy Damn. what Travis Scott is giving the world. And I've just never been that high, so I don't. I, I can't fully <laughs> embrace all of it. Okay, That's and wild. you know, Killer Mike. I feel like he's probably amazing. He is amazing. He won the Grammys. There's no. I'm not taking away the credit, but I'm just saying excitement in hip hop is not coming from y'all. You, that's not true. Uh, well, give me an example. Y'all arguing over the t- two boring albums. Did y'all listen to 21 Savage's new album? It's really good. It's I, really good. Let me just good. say this about 21 Savage. That just dropped. Yay, not, Yay is about to drop. Uh, Ooh, about yeah. to drop. That's excitement. That about, to, about to drop. That's excitement. About to drop. That's excitement. To say that men ain't doing it, y'all that's not. just not true. Y'all not. And Super I, I, fu- I, when, not. When, when my boy Future unthaws. And comes out when uh, this is him, what I'm this talking album about. With him and Metro Boom, we talking about right now. Looking, we talking about out right now. We talking about out right now. Go down the Grammy hip hop category. Who was the Who was in that? It was Travis Scott. It was my, Killer Mike. Who else? I'm in the hip hop album. Kendrick Lamar, probably right. You said no. 21. Drake and 21. Exactly. Drake and 21 was good. Yes. Boring. It was. It's all. It's, it's not. No, it's no sauce was good. It's no excitement. Dirk won a Grammy. That wasn't boring. And I love. And lo- I love Twenty One Savage. But let J. me just Cole say this: has murdered everything he's jumped on in Twenty Twenty Three. Yeah, J. Cole ain't with J. Cole with us. He ain't with y'all. I, I take that for J. Cole because y'all, y'all don't appreciate J. Cole like y'all need to. <laughs> um, but yeah, Spinning. I just want to say Twenty One Savage. I love him, but I feel like he is always somewhere he do not need to be. On features, like where, why, who be in the lab? Like you know who we need. You know who this song need. <laughs> It needs 21. Who is in the who is in there behind the board thinking that? Because it pisses me off. Like what song thing, are you talking about? For instance, okay, uh Usher, good, good. Him and Summer Walker, beautiful song. Who the hell invited 21 Savage? For uh the Grammys. We at the Grammys. Burn a boy, bring out Brandy. It's a beautiful moment of nostalgia. Who the hell told 21 to come on stage? Why is he always somewhere he is not supposed well, to be? If you look at 20, that 21 album, 21 is Twenty one is can fit on any album, man. Where? Hey, which y'all, song? No, y'all need to stop. But no, the, the Burning Boy song is actually Twenty One's record. That's on Burning Boy on on Twenty One's new album. He, who who asked for that? Twenty One and Burning Boy song is really good on his new album. No, 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 no. The we one with Summer song, Walker is really good. We talking about the song that he performed at the Grammys with Brandy. <laughs> That's, That's Brandy, Brandy song. and Burning Boy. Top song. of the world is, is oh, Brandy yeah, yeah, and Burning Boy. Yeah, yeah, Nobody Burn asked for that. Twenty One to be there. I don't understand. Who be calling him? The only part I was bad at Twenty One is at the end. He looked a little awkward. He looked a little awkward today. He was standing there. He was standing there. He, <laughs> 21 got somebody got he got to go hang out with Breezy. He got to he got to go hang out with one of his light skinned friends and know Bro. how to dance. I said 21, <laughs> so nervous up in this boy and this other. He don't know where to dance. He got Brandy and Burner and like they trying to tone it down, not to. Like a, like 21 and not a dance. He stands. <laughs> he gonna give you them bars, but I like. Yeah, twenty one. Don't not, don't do that one no more, bro. Tone that was that was that was nerve wracking for me. I was like, ooh. No, I, Tone don't want to say I it, get but he agrees with me. I, you. You agree too? No, I like twenty one on I the record. I just I, didn't like that performance with him and Brent. I, he looked nervous. He didn't need to be there. He's always somewhere he don't need to be, and I love him. I do. I want to make sure that's clear. I love how he get on Instagram. He sing R and B songs. He, you know, he he would lotto allegedly. I like that for her, but I just feel like record wise, he just always popping up somewhere that I don't need him to be. And that's yeah. <laughs> the Usher Summer Walker song. Yeah, I knew funny. that blue y'all. That's yeah, that's funny. funny. <laughs> See, <laughs> she said, "Who was in there and said, let, mm. let me call oh, 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> this song needs a little something.' That was in Atlanta, though. That's in Atlanta. No, no. that's in Atlanta. That that's man from England, bro. Is Atlanta. Ain't Summer Walker from Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah, an A-Town ATL, song. Man. 21 is from Europe. Didn't we figure that out already? No, don't do that. <laughs> Am I lying? Don't you do that. Am don't I lying? Do that. Am I lying? What is going yeah, on with you today? Did he almost get deported? She don't want. I'm, <laughs> oh, what a day. I'm not lying. No, he moved to, That's he the moved problem. to Atlanta at like five. Oh, okay. So it's like when like... Okay. He's not really from Like, Europe, I'm from the West Side, but I, le- I, I grew he up. He was born overseas, right. but he grew up. He, he's literally from he, Atlanta. He went to school, right. everything. You, you can't get that type of, you can't fake that type of Atlanta-ness. Who can't? The way he got. You just can't, man. Right. You can't. Like, you look, when you look at 21, he looked like an Atlanta 
Like, I, like what you say, Zach, how the Atlanta dudes talk? Got down. Got down. <laughs> I really got down. Matter of fact, 21 is here right now. 21, got can down. you tell us who called you for that Usher record? I was like on some like, <laughs> I, was, I was by myself with my kids type shit. I was on my, with my kids uh-huh. type shit. And uh, Usher manager was called. I was like, I was like, got down. <laughs> 21, 21. I seen him call. I was like, you call him 21. <laughs> and I, I answered. I was like, huh? And he was like, I'm walking with you on verse. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Where y'all at? And exactly. I, and I pulled up. That's what I'm talking and I about. I pulled up on the goddamn. Right. On some tight shit. Now, if Zach can do that accent, he from Gary, then that lets you know <laughs> the man from England can pull it off as well. Let's oh knock it off. Oh, my God. That Let's is knock not it off. <laughs> you, you, I'm done. I rest my case. Kiki is old one. I do day. like 21, though. So I like 21. I can't tell. I, I just don't like him in spaces that he don't need to be in. Like, I don't. Because you know only what? want 21 in gangsta ass songs. I just don't. I, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because he friends with Drake, and I don't want to piss off the goat. Oh, so. my God. All right. <laughs> Last go. one before we get out of here. Let's go. Uh, we did, we'll go run, run back to the Grammys. We missed this part. Uh, Jay-Z's speech. Yeah. Talking about Beyonce. Should Beyonce ever won? Does she has a does she have a classic album that should have been album of the year? Which Absolutely. one was it? Do you think that they missed on Lemonade? Absolutely. They missed on Lemonade. They missed on Lemonade. They missed on Beyonce. They missed on um, Sasha B Day. Um, I mean, she has several albums that could that are absolutely qualified to be album of the year, and I think what he did was exactly what he should do, and what I what I expect y'all to do. If I'm not in the room and somebody and you know somebody is playing in my face, I expect you to speak up for me. I think he did an amazing job with what he said. And the one thing I like about Jay Z is that he can get up there, say exactly what's on his mind, tell everybody to kiss his ass, and he walk out the room and people still love him. That's a that's an art that that, that not everybody has, mm-hmm. and Hove has that, and so yeah, I, I, Beyonce absolutely should have won that several times. Okay, all mm-hmm. right, that's that's fair, that's yeah. fair. And did you see how Kiki threw us in there? <laughs> did you see how she did that? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Know. She said the same way that they did that. She did it almost like Keith Lee, <laughs> like a food review. <laughs> she like she was like show you right way. out. Right? She was like show you right out. <laughs> The same way that I want y'all to defend me if I'm not in the room. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Like, yes. How did we get thrown into this? Yes. And everybody's like, well, when K- when Ye did it, you know, everybody was all da 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 da. It's a way to do things. Well, first of all, Ye, it wasn't even his, it wasn't even his time to talk. Yeah. <laughs> you went over there and snatched the thing. Jay did it during his moment. Yes. 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 You know. Kanye was drunk. <laughs> right. He came in with a bottle of hen. Right. That's. That I don't remember that. Okay. He did. So, oh, you was drunk too. Oh, you, oh, oh. He you only wants like. certain Hennessy. Oh, clubs. we can only mention. Yeah. Certain, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I don't, when, I don't right. mention when that the, moment when the hen makes you knock out your cousin. No, <laughs> yeah, that ain't the hen talking. That ain't the hen talking. That's not the Hennessy. That's not the Hennessy. That ain't that ain't Hennessy. That's and Hennessy. And you know, any alcohol makes you more of who you are. So if you are an asshole, it's going to turn you into more of an asshole. True. I appreciate that corporate answer, brother. Listen, no, no, it is the truth. I get it. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. There you go. And drink responsibly. We don't turn down any promotion from anything. That's right. On the pod. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're trying to run people away. But Tom, what do you think about Hove's speech? And what, what I mean, would you have done something like that? Oh, I in, definitely in would that have. moment? I definitely would have. Okay. I definitely would have. You have to. You have to. Yeah. Now, like I said, I don't have, I don't know, because I'm so straightforward. I don't know if I have those words to make people yeah. I would offend it. Yeah, that's true. You don't yet. Yeah. I probably would have. I probably would have offended and never yeah. came, made anybody come back. But I definitely, my wife would have loved me forever. Which is the I most important part. Because you almost would have went Will Smith. Like you, that I think you had <laughs> tone. You a Gemini, so like I see. I've been around you enough to know like when the switch switch, y'all better. Everybody better fuck. Everybody better move. Clear the room. Mm-hmm. So you probably would have went Will Smith. So there's there has to be a happy medium yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought what he did was cool, and I like I said he did it. And it's like he, this is why he's my favorite. So it's like he like he's already telling you, hey, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Yes. So he already he like he already told you, uh oh. I love it. It's getting ready to be a minute. It's getting to be a moment. But he just touched on it, and he also kept, well, yeah, you know, I boycotted the Grammys, but then I went and watched them. He still kept it real, finessing you, rubbing mm-hmm. your back while he telling you, hey man, y'all could get it right, but I know it's opinion based, but you know it's still kind of weird. The person that got the most Grammys never won album of the year, but hey. Y'all gonna get it right. 
we gonna get it right. He's yeah. he he, no, planned, he criticized him. He said it, that don't even make sense according to y'all's metrics. Yep. Yeah, he. I mean, to be on the fly and just have that level of a uh, 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 mindset to be able to make people feel bad about what they've done, mm-hmm. and also accept the gracious award that you got still is a good moment. He's he, he the man, man. It's it was just, so beautiful. Like, he the man. Just, you can't, you yeah. can't, I can't, I mean, it's the what, what can I say podcast for a reason. That's true. You, you, oh, that, is that what this is? Yeah. Oh, that's why he uh, did that. This okay. is my favorite, that's the name of my favorite Jay-Z. Wow. One of my favorite Jay-Z uh, songs. Oh, I didn't know that. That's, that's So no hope, no hope slander will be tolerated. No, no hope slander. I can't, I can't, I don't know I hope slander. No, like, I didn't even listen slander. to that Azealia Banks then when she is he I, the goat? She said, "Is Jay Z the goat?" One thousand percent. After Drake, you can't, you can't, no, no. no after, 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 after. no one has accomplished. <laughs> yes, it what is. he's what he's done. Period. <laughs> to me, it is. Oh my god. Huh? Wait, what? Who the goat? The goat of rap is Kanye West. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's oh, not. Lord. You want to know why? But they got the same amount of Grammys. You want to know why? Rap, one's been rapping before. You want to know why? He caught up to him. You want to know why? Oh, Jesus. Why? Because Jay-Z has managed to maintain. It's always, it's cool to achieve, but can you maintain? So that's why I say, that's why you people look at LeBron and they're like, oh, man, LeBron. I have no problem with people saying LeBron's the GOAT. I just can't because I grew up watching Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan has done the same thing. To maintain greatness is what makes you a GOAT. Maintain it. Don't lose it. Never fall off. Not a scandal. Not Tom Brady. Maintain it. That's not it. what makes you the GOAT. Muhammad Ali got had the shakes and, and, and lost before, and he's still the GOAT of boxing. No, yes, he but, but he maintained. Yeah, yeah. He, but you got to remember, yeah, 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 he never did anything to diminish what he's done. What has Ye done to diminish the work that he's put in? Oh, that thing, that one thing that he said about that one group of people. Oh, yes, he said, yes, he's, I, no, it's a difference. See, that's the difference. See, let, let me ask you this: Is R. Kelly the goat of R and B? Well, he's yeah, trying yeah, to. But, he no, trying yeah, but to. Hold you on, know why? Let me ask you. Yeah, uh, you uh, it's uh, hard uh, to uh, say because of, he's not. He didn't maintain it. Yeah, it's that's, a, not, it's not, that's not the metric, bro. You trying to make I, that fit? It, it's your body of work. And I'm it's not your going body of work. I'm not going with now. That. As the man, as we know, Jay Z's mind and you know, who do I want running anything? Definitely Jay Z over Ye any any day because Ye is up and down. But lyrically. But you if, feel like he's but the if we're, I'm talking about putting out music. I'm talking about bodies of work. I'm talking oh, okay. about albums. Okay. Put, I'm talking about as a rapper. Okay. Because some of Jay Z's biggest hits was produced by Ye. Yes. Okay. Facts. One of their best. I I heard somebody on Watch the and Throne. Just Hold on. I heard on Watch Timberland and Pharrell. Yes, sir. And okay, I so and I also on. heard Watch the Throne where I heard Ye out rap Jay on many of the same songs and you know I'm telling the truth. When they were heads up both at the top of their game Easy. Ye was going off and you easy. know there's, he there's was. Easy. There's a, there's a Ye part wasn't of, going off on Watch the Throne. There's a different but I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it off mic but it's just. Eh. Ye wasn't going crazy Somebody got a throne. team and somebody don't. They went they went one on one. Somebody got a team and somebody don't. Now he done brought Malik Youssef up in here. Oh, now he done brought. Now he done brought. Ooh, no, no, I didn't, spicy. I like no, no, this no, kind no, of conversation. Some I, and Ye is a What's that amazing other man that was on Love and Hip Hop? What's but that I'm man just name? saying. Conscious. Someone cons- has a team. Conscious consequence. Consequence. Team. Yes. Ooh. And then someone doesn't. Mm. So, okay, so you can say what you want. Say what you want. So easy. But, but I can easy go. Chap. I can go. I can go. College dropout. I can go graduation. I can go. I mean, I'm talking about life of Pablo. That's I can crazy go, to I can me. Go, how y'all uh, acting like my Lil dark, Wayne. twisted, beautiful fantasy? Are I, you? I can go 808 and heartbreaks, and uh, he sounds different on every single album. Travis Scott whole careers because of Kanye uh, hold West. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, <coughs> oh, hold on. You tweaking? You tweaking? I just want you to go listen, listen to Jesus, and listen to Travis Scott's first album. Listen to Travis Scott's first album, and then listen to the one. After that, I'm not, again, I'm not getting ready to slander Ye, but I want to let you know there's a reason, there's a reason the sound, Ye picked up a certain sound when somebody else was there. I'm telling you, somebody got a team and he's a, look, he's a monster at 
putting a team together to come up with a project. Whatever his process is, is his process. But, can't take one, away but there's a another man's... person that goes and says, no, hey, that goes and says by himself and goes and says, hey, man, Tim, let me hear some stuff. Hey, for real, let me hear some stuff. That's not a team? And don't even it's write. A di- not, and don't not even that, write it not down. Not nobody writing. He don't even use a pen. That's a he team. in there. He in he there by himself. That's your team. If we, if we, if we talk. No, no, no. Hey, I'm telling you. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna yeah, give you okay. a second. I'm, I, I, wanna, I don't want to. I don't want to okay, say anything. I, I, I tell you this. I'm not want to say. We can crazy. go if we if if we talking lyrically. Jay Z. I give Jay Z the upper hand lyrically. You on, just on, said, on, but yeah. that's what you just said. Yeah, you just no. He did outrap him on that. He did outrap him on Watch the Throne. He did. I Tom don't know said, what happened Tom behind the scenes. They my, outrapped him. My, they outrapped him. Thank you. They Not, outrapped. Uh, they outrapped Jay Z. But I would like to say this. <laughs> I don't know why y'all over here acting like Lil Wayne out alive. Cause please don't he act like the, he's he not in the goat conversation. He got he. They they can rap too. They over at Young Lil Wayne. Wayne. They can rap. Too. They. They can rap. They. They can rap. Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. You trying to say he got ghostwriters? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that publicly. No, I'm not. I'm just saying there's people. There's people that that contribute. Tell me something. Tell me something. Not, I don't know. There's some people that contribute. What? There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of people that contribute. That's why when they said the stuff about Drake, I was like, stop acting. You got people saying stuff that know goddamn well they got people to help them. I'm not even saying Jay-Z doesn't. I don't know. But from the, the, the length of time that I've been in music, I've never heard of a situation, a they no, when I, it comes I, I to can't, Jay. I can't sit there and say a anybody. A they when it comes to J. Cole. I, a they when it comes to Kendrick Lamar. Those are, those are standalone from what I... Well, Here I, I, are standalone yes, rappers. His verses are standalone. His verses are standalone. Them hooks, everybody get help with hooks. And you know I'm telling the truth. Wow. Yeah, everybody get help with hooks, but also everybody, everybody, everybody don't everybody, get help with songs. I, I I understand that, but if it if, if every if it was so much of they, how come they ain't yay? If they were making yay, make another they. Where is the days? The days that you're talking days, about? Yeah, the days got at the, yeah, the days got stunned at, at, at the Grammys. Ain't no days. One of the days got stunned. I mean, I'm at just the saying the days you could. Throw a day out there, but the day ain't yay. They not gonna, gonna be, be yay. yay. I'm saying it's a team. He's not. I'm not saying that they are responsible and they. He has no talent. He's a puppet. No, I'm saying that he is a monster at putting a team together his, and coming his... up with concepts. Yes, he comes from concepts. a producer. He comes from a producer background. Exactly. Turn rapper. Yes. And out and re, you can say they all they want. Out rapped. Jay on Watch the Throne. So you saying Kanye? And I want you to look. Let's look. I'm at the, not listening. It's let's look at the credits. And it, it, cause <laughs> one thing Ye gonna do is name everybody who give. If you, they say if Ye, if you sneeze on the track, Ye gonna write your name on the. Uh, oh, he will. Yes, yes. Ye is very. That's why I'm saying it looks. It looks like. That's why I talk and be like, they, they, they. These niggas getting here talking, gave him two lines, and act like they wrote the whole damn song. It's not that. No, and and. <sighs> But well, we know that Jay Z has gone into the booth and created some of the most mind blowing things that we've ever heard. I'm not taking that away life. from him. So that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not taking that you away can, from him. You, you but are. I, I personally enjoy Kanye West albums more than Jay Z albums, and my goat is Ye, and I have the utmost respect respect for Jay. The maintaining Jay. of it is what makes me. That, that's my but, thing. Yeah. LeBron, you can't. LeBron is, LeBron's a good basketball player. He's won championships. There's been other basketball players that have won championships. There's been other basketball it's, it's players. I but guarantee. you know why we love LeBron and why everybody marvels at LeBron James? Because he's done it for a thousand years. I guarantee you know more. Yeah, I bet you know more Yay versus than you know Jay Z. No, not, no, I don't. I don't know if that's the case. All right. And I and I'm a Kanye fan. Like I like like I again. Bet you do. I bet you. Do. I seen it from the beginning. I, I bet you can rap that entire. First album, I could do it for front both. to back. I could do it for the. You can rap his entire second album. I could do it. For, I could do it for you both. You can rap the These entire. Are, you're talking third about album. literally. This is yay! You're talking about two of my favorite rappers. Literally, you. I'm not going. And I like. I, I like when I when I to interview me, when top- I interview Kanye. I've had to turn down, and he's from Chicago. We around the same age. I had to turn my fanness down because I really. Really rock with him. I've seen the whole thing. When I've heard Kanye's early stuff, which I'm one of the few people that heard early stuff of Ye, I was like, that dude is going to be crazy. That dude is crazy. 
And when he when he came out through the wire, I said, he out of here. Watch what I tell you. Nobody, and it wasn't even the way through the wire sounded. It was like, this fool is rapping with his damn Draw mouth closed. wired. Mm-hmm. And then did a remix to it and made it even more creative, talking about, I ain't going to never get through the airport with all these chains on and I my mouth wired. It's, he's done amazing thing. Gold digger turned when women were starting to talk about money and turned it into a whole song. Did a song with Jamie Foxx. He did a movie. He did a movie that I thought was incredible visually and sounded great. I mean, he did 808 and Heartbreak, which is the, the baseline for pretty much Kanye's all these young rappers. Purpose. Kanye's workout. I mean, he's done. I'm a Kanye he's fan. He's done so much. And I think he's the best. But Jay Z ushered get... in Drug Boy Fresh. Everybody that came from that, came, Rick Ross, Jeezy, all of the dope boy fresh dudes came. They are literally Jay Z. That's it. That's who they listen to. Like, oh, that's how I go. Rick Ross was already an out. Uh, Jay Z was. Al- I mean, Rick Ross was already a a, a thing when when Jay Z got to him. Huh? I, no, he wasn't. Jay Z signed Rick Ross when he was at Def Jam. That's Jay Z. That, that is him. Get him. That's him. his. That's it. That's it. Rihanna. When he was at Def Jam. Those are his picks. Where's Memphis Bleak? Yeah, you can't oh like God. see you can't okay. think of it is you can't argue with a dude that's been doing this too long. <laughs> Bro, you can have all that. I'm not trying to take anything. <laughs> I'm not trying to take anything away from Jay. And it may and it may be the age thing, because I didn't get those those early Jay moments. But I saw every bit of Kanye West career. I, and, and I, get I saw it. It, every bit from the beginning. And fr- and from the beginning, Ye has not missed, man. Ye has been consistent. Has he thrown out a few albums that I was like, Yay, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You 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 on you done went too weird. Poopity scoop. Yeah, he's a, he, he'll mm-hmm. even do a poopity scoop. I get it. But he has done so much good that I still give him the GOAT title. Wow. I do. So this is where I, I give him the is, GOAT title when it comes to rap. So this is where I go with the young boys, right? Shout out to the young boys out there. <laughs> like he just said out of his mouth that I didn't see the Jay Z thing happen. I didn't see it, Not but I did see I did see the Kanye thing happen from the beginning. So how do you argue with the person that's seen both? Mm. Mm. He pod now. He pod now. I ain't never seen you speechless, Zach. The way you argue, never- <laughs> you argue, let me tell you how you argue with the person who's seen both. I ain't both. never seen because I ain't never seen you quiet because I because one one of them I ain't gonna I don't want to diss Jack. I don't want to diss Jay. Go, what, say, no, say what's on your heart. I'll say what's on my heart. Say what's on your the, heart. The, the first Jay, Wait, before you say the what's first Jay Z album I listened to was American Gangster, and I, maybe that got the wrong. And, and see, oh, so see, that, so that, that's that's oh, not that's Zach. not even. Yeah, Zach. yeah, that's tough. We done talking. So you out here listening to Killer Mike, but you ain't never listening to Home. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, I'm saying what, when what I was. It's going on. It was the Black Album. <laughs> what? When it? It was the Black Album. <laughs> No, I'm saying when I'm, this must I'm, be a Gary I'm Indiana to other thing. Stuff, the- but it's just not as good. But let's let's <laughs> let's do a versus. Let's do a versus. Zay, you are out here spending your time, spending your quality time that God gave you, listening to Killer Mike albums, but you ain't listen to Hove. Yes, I listen what to Hove. What's going Hove. on? <laughs> like, No shade, Killer Mike. No shade. I promise you that's not shade. But what okay. are we really doing? I'm, I'm not what are we really I'm doing, done. Zach? That's not what I was saying. But okay. Uh, but I'm just saying, uh, I'm in that American gangster uh, era is when I started listening to Hov and, and that oh, Blueprint. Okay. Oh. I mean, uh, Blackout. But I, 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 would, like I would love soundtrack? to do a versus. I would love to do a versus track for track. Uh, what was Jay-Z's first album, The Blueprint? Oh, my God. Was that Jay-Z's first album? Oh, my God. What did I say that was Repeat wild? Repeat your last question. You said, what? What was Jay-Z's first album, Blueprint? No, that's not. That's what you said. That's not. Ryder. That's what you said. A reasonable doubt. You said, doubt. what was Jay- But the fact that you said, uh, what was Jay-Z's first album, okay? And then I said Blueprint. And then you yeah, said I Blueprint. Say, I did say that. But even the fact that you said, what was Jay-Z's first album, you cannot have this argument with Tom or me for that matter. And I, I'm the last person that need to be arguing hip hop like that. Like, let me ask. Let me ask the room. This man said, "Reasonable doubt" or uh, what was Kanye's first album name? I can't think of it right graduation. now. Or graduation. Mm-mm, college, no, dropout. college dropout. College dropout. Yeah, maybe college I, dropout. I do need to be. The one. <laughs> My bad. See, you can you can mess up. You can mess up. Okay. I think so because I don't college, know what's going college on. College dropout or what was Jay's first album? Reasonable, Reasonable doubt. doubt. Which one? Uh, I mean, it's tough for me to just say that. It's tough. I like them both. 
Which one do you like better? You can't break it which down one, per which album. Which one do you? Though. Why can't you? Which one do you listen to the most? Which one do you know more records from right now? Which Zach. one is more timeless right now that you could play right now? I could work. Kanye West. I rest my case. All right, man. I'm not going. I'm not going to say it. I saw both. I rest. I my saw case. both. I like both. I'm not going. I'm not going to judge. It's hard for me to put one of the over the other, especially with Kanye being from Chicago. I can't do it. But I mean, like I said, you proved my point. You, the first Jay Z album you listened to was American Gangster, which is a soundtrack. soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I remember my, that. Like, and that shit was my, all right. My, 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 you, <laughs> nah, I'm not. <laughs> Nigga, what's the first rap album you listened to? Oh. Uh, oh. Love Jones soundtrack. Oh, that's, that's wild. <laughs> like, what, what was the first rap album you ever listened to? Ever in life? Yes. Mace, Harlem World. Okay. What about you? I'm old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cool in the game. <laughs> Somebody he done seen everything. This nigga, somebody, he done seen all 50 years of hip hop. Got that? <laughs> Zach got his lick back right there. He, he just got, got his, his lick, lick back. back. No. He got his oh, lick that's back. so funny. Uh, first, uh, first <laughs> album I bought, uh, it gotta be, I think it was Commons, like okay. Water for Chocolate, or it might have been either. It didn't, no, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Nah, it was Heavy D and the Boys. Oh, okay. It was Heavy D. Heavy that D. That was the 90s. All right. Was it the 90s? Nah, like, yeah, like late 80s, early 90s. Okay. What was yeah. your first rap album? Uh, Crucial Conflict. Mm-hmm. She's so Chicago. Take that. It was. <laughs> it was. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey in the middle of the bar. Hey in the middle of the bar was your first. Uchi Coochie, everything. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, this was so fun today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, so man. So fun. Well, hey, I'm telling you, we just had people just running in on we the pod. We did. It's like an episode of Martin. <laughs> okay. You know, it's hey. like, everybody just walk in. That's great. I, I know, it. right? Is that it's me? Exciting. All right, so let's go ahead. Final thoughts, Kiki. Get to it. Um, Final thoughts. Super Bowl Sunday. I'm excited for the Usher concert, and I would like to know who do y'all want at the Super Bowl because I know this will probably never happen, but I feel like after Usher do his thing, it's time for Christopher Maurice Brown. Okay? And Ooh. I would like to put that out in the atmosphere. It's Ooh. time. That would be a time. big deal. Yes. Chris, they gotta put a they gotta put a white person in, and then it'll be Chris so it'll Brown. be so it'll be Taylor Swift next. Yeah, and then definitely after Taylor, yeah. Swift, Taylor Swift definitely. Yeah, doing and the then same. after Taylor Swift, it's time for Chris Brown, and we need to make that happen. And Jay Z, I know, I know, I know, but the way I just roll for you on this podcast episode, that's the least you could do for me. I yes. I don't know if they ready for Chris. Who is that? They canceled his AMA performance. Who is they? The powers the that be. No. The days. <laughs> what, was, no. what was the performance where he was supposed to do the Michael Jackson that tribute? That was the Grammys. No, it wasn't even the AMAs? Grammys. It was the AMAs. Ah. They canceled his AMA performance. You think they're going to let him do the Super Bowl? I don't understand. At this Jay-Z point. Jay-Z can make it happen. Yes. Bro. Jay-Z can make the phone call. So. And at this point, Rihanna, Rihanna damn that won't Chris Brown to perform. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she not even mad no more. So can we come on now? Yeah. So that's my mission after Usher do his thing. I love um, to see it. It's Usher, campaign. Taylor, Swift, Chris. Yeah, Usher, Taylor, then Chris. Because Taylor's a thousand percent doing it. Absolutely. Year. We're what? not just going to rush past Usher's moment and try to rush to the next moment. No, no, no. Like, no, no, no. Let's receive this Usher moment before thinking about anybody else. Mm. Okay. Because this is Usher. Well, I, well, mm. This is Usher now. This is Usher. So you don't feel a way about Usher lying to us about the love is it friends? I, I don't think that got nothing to do with Usher. Okay. I honestly don't. I don't know. You're the only person that's seen Usher post. He, I didn't see he Usher said post. it. That's why Tall I got man. I didn't see Usher Tall post. man because he bought his tickets. He bought his tickets. He, he, he got a and room. I look, I, I got a room. And, and the reason I don't believe it because he's the only person on the whole flyer where that, it says Usher and it say performing confessions. I don't exactly. feel like he put this together. Right. Nah, man. I don't think he has he to do said it. it. Usher said it. And they didn't no, even gave Juby his front end I want you to. I'm pissed. I want you to do this, Tom. And you, 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 you know, you know marketing. You've been in the game for a long time. I want you to look at everything Usher has rolled out. Okay, he rolled out his his Vegas residency. He just rolled out his tour. He's rolled out um, every um his his club Shay Shay interview dropped right at the right time. Mm-hmm. And you mean to tell me he the look at this flyer? Look at this graphic. Don't even look official. <laughs> look at this graphic. <laughs> Look at this graphic. So that's a nostalgic oh, graphic. Baby. You think they just, they just threw that out there? It looked like a hand bill. Yeah. Give me your uh, final thoughts, man. Quit trying to make oh, fun yeah, of Oh, yeah, he got to go. Woo woo. Uh, that's your final thoughts? Yeah, I got to go. Oh, my God. And I'm, uh, I'm sorry about the American Gangster This thing. is so fun. Oh, wow. This man <laughs> said, what was Jay-Z first album? First album he ever listened to from Jay-Z was American Gangster. 
All right, man. You know, uh, it is Final Thoughts. Share the pod. Share, share, share. We appreciate the new pod, fam. Appreciate yes. all the comments. Keep sharing the clips. Keep telling everybody about the pod. And with that being said, what more can we say?